What's up, Hard Work Gang? Gang, gang. It's your boy, Frankie Hard Work, and I'm super duper back with another one, y'all. Let's get straight to it. So, Kodak Black, man, I guess it's that interview, man. Everybody been saying all type of things and feeling some type of way. And, I mean, it's only right. Once that thing go public, people going to speak on it. So, Kodak is in a new beef now, a new digital beef now, I'm going to call it. And it's between him and Ray J. So, Kodak felt the type of way about Ray J talking in the comments of his uh, Drink Champs interview, and he decided to speak on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a breakdown of the videos of how it pretty much started, and then I'm going to come back to Kodak Black response to the Drink Champs interview on how people are concerned about his health. So let me play these clips, y'all. This video is going to be a little second, but I'm going to chop it down not to be too long, but I'll be right back with some of my drama, Terry. Ray J. Yo, somebody need to grab bro and make sure he good. This ain't the interview, Nori. We gotta help this dude. I took him to Trump house and he did the most. They were not happy with the experience because he had no guidance and respect. Yo, at WAC 100, let's figure this out. How we can help him, how we can help this guy instead of watching him self-destruct. Nigga, like, come on here speaking like, speaking about my experience with Trump on how that Trump shit happened on whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? I ain't got no rap for no bit. Like, anybody that asks me about that shit, I don't even, I don't even watch it called, you know what I mean? This fuck nigga wanted to go to Mar a Lago. How the fuck? This fuck nigga wanted to go to Mar a Lago, you know what I mean? He said that was some Ray J shit, you know what I mean? This bitch ass nigga want to drink all type shit. That's I be hating that pussy ass shit. Man, he fuck nigga. Like, you a boost ass nigga, man. You wanna just go viral. You wanna just go viral and shit. When a nigga call that nigga, hit a nigga, DM a nigga, and you bitch ass nigga. You bitch ass nigga be squirting the bitch. Damn, you like, you fuck nigga, you so squirt. You talking about Trump house too. Damn, what? The fuck? That wasn't even bro house. Come on, you took me to. I really don't know how to like. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> this shit crazy, because it's like, I don't really want to start talking shit because it defeats the purpose of trying to, like, make shit right in the culture. Like, right? If I'm thinking about a nigga and I think he falling over the wayside, maybe I overreacted, because I don't know the nigga. I don't. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I overreacted. Maybe he was just, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like when you like watching the comments and shit and you eager to like say something, I just ain't going to do that no more. It's simple, you know what I'm saying? Because this whole thing that's going on is weird as fuck. Like, Yak, no, he don't want no real fade. He talking about he going to beat me up. Bro, you don't cut it out. And the only reason why this fade will, be, will make sense for me, like, you a street nigga, right? You a rapper. And I'm like, well, let's take the fade since you said you're going to beat me up since you went all the way left with it. The only thing you really can do is take the fade, like. And what's crazy is, like, I feel like you got to win the fight. So in order to win the fight, what you got to do, you got to train your body, right? So you getting your body right. So you getting back in shape. You getting your shit together, right? So at the end of the day, it's a win-win for everybody. And I do that just so this nigga can, you know what I'm saying? Can um, get, get back healthy. Oh, that nigga probably healthy, bro, like I said. I'm quick to admit if a nigga just types some shit too fast. I don't know, the nigga could be sober every day. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> just stand, just stand silent. You know what I'm saying? But at the end, now I'm gonna say this, right? I'm gonna say this. Wow, I understand what Ray J was talking about when in the comment when he basically saying, "Yo, we need to get him help." And I understand he probably was coming from a good place, and then he was telling them how he took him to Trump House and things of that nature. Right? I hear all that, but honestly, I think that was corny. I think that was corny, and I feel, I feel, I feel Kodak on this one because honestly, I feel away. I be reading that comment like, "What the hell?" You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you could if you took me to the if you took me to Mar-a-Lago, where where is Donald Trump at? 
you could have took, you could have DM me or hit me up and said all this. Now I understand that part right there. Now, lately, a lot of people been looking at Kodak Black and looking at how he been looking in these videos and they concerned about his health. And I guess he been hearing it a lot lately. So I'm about to end this video off with this clip playing from Kodak Black, pretty much explaining and saying some things, responding to the Drink Chunk interview and letting people know what it is. So good looking out. Thanks for listening, y'all. Y'all be easy. Look healthy. Of course, look. <laughs> Of course, look. When it come, when it come, when it come out to me, y'all, don't go off no internet theories like when you like when you wanna when you like when it come to like judging me or getting love impression of before y'all make up like that's saying uh y'all idea or whatever make up y'all mind on how y'all what you calling it. You ever heard somebody say like? Believe that you hook and like half of what you see too, cause you know looks could be deceiving and shit. Especially when it comes to a nigga like me, that like, on top of the Gemini shit, just me, just already. And then on top of that shit too. Hey, your birthday? Uh, my shit six eleven. Yeah. Bitch say you are speaking at a regular pace. You haven't had any drugs today. <laughs> <laughs> Dog. For that part. That would vibe me. Mm -hmm. They're talking about that drink shit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but the shit called drink champ. And so, I nigga have, I, 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 I had my little shot or two. Nothing too much. They had me like a little shot or two. Other than that, I mean, it's, oh, it's, it's me. I, mean, I come as like, you know, no, I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't. Oh, wow. Ever say, hold on, you drink now? I don't, <laughs> I don't drink. Nah, see, I was at, I was at a, the shit they shit called drink chance so I had me like a little shot of two. Nothing too major. Other than that, like bitch, that ain't got nothing to do with shit. I know excuses for nothing like that.